Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have Vedanta Trivedi with us, who's recently got into Providence through his campus placement as a software engineer for an internship and a full-time employment role. So, before going into the interview with him, let's understand the eligibility criteria. The ECM, CSC and IT branches were eligible with a 60% or 60 GPA above in 10th and 12th and 80% or 8 CGPA in the pursuing degree with no standing arrears. So, hi Vedanta, welcome to my channel. So, congratulations on your placement. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself first? Hi everyone, I am Vedanta. I am currently in my fourth year of uh, engineering from BIT Chennai. I am in the computer science uh, uh, department and uh, I was placed in Providence Global Center. It's uh, based out of Hyderabad. Um, it's a healthcare chain from the US and they've opened a global center in Hyderabad to support their uh, technical team in the US. Uh, so I've joined, uh, it was an intern plus full-time role. So I'm currently interning uh, uh, from January to June of 2022 and then I'll be joining as a full-time employee uh, over there. Okay, so, yeah. okay, thank you. So, could you now just tell us how many rounds were there in the interview process and uh, what comprised of them in them? So, uh, the first round was a uh, like a online round, uh, which is basically done in almost every company that comes to campus. Over here, it was a little bit different uh, because uh, we weren't asked. We were asked only one coding question. There were ten MCQs which were uh, CS fundamental. Um, related, uh, they mostly focused on DBMS and uh, uh, object oriented programming and there was uh, there were a couple of questions which were specific to C sharp because okay. they work in C sharp a lot okay. but if you um, completed or if you completed the Java programming course or if you completed uh, or if you've read about the Java programming the basic abstraction and interfaces etc you'll be able to answer those as well. But, um, uh, the coding question was a medium to easy question. It was math based. Okay. Um, it was uh, it was uh, doable in fifteen to twenty minutes. And uh, the SQL question, which was asked, uh, it was a little tough. Hmm. Um, if I have to give you a scale of difficulty, if you practice regularly in HackerRank for SQL, it's a medium problem from HackerRank. It was very similar to uh, one of the questions which is already present. And okay. um, Apart from that, uh, that was it. There, after the first round, there were 60 people selected for the interviews across the campuses. Um, out of the 60 people, uh, there were three rounds in total. The first one was a technical round. Uh, the technical round is usually taken by someone senior, a uh, senior software engineer or an SD2. Okay. Um, uh, for me, it was a senior software engineer. So, uh, the first question they asked was, um, um, it, it was a very friendly interview. So the first, they tried to ask me a very easy question and built up the difficulty from there. Okay. So the first question they basically asked me was, uh, if I have to remove duplicates from, from an array, what do I have to do? So you give an answer, you start from the brute force and build up and try to give as many solution approaches as you can. Okay. Then they built it up to a counting sort of a problem by giving the number of um, uh, the number, the range, they restricted the range and then they built it up to a maximum of two uh, um, duplicates for each number. So it became a O of N and O of 1 problem, O of 1 space and O of N time complexity. Okay. Uh, that was the first question. Um, they were very friendly so they kept uh, giving me in, uh, like they kept trying to tell me the direction they wanted yeah. me to go because I was pretty confused because I was not... Uh, expecting uh, I was expecting another question basically okay uh, then they asked me to uh, implement the story function in C++ string to integer mm. uh, this was mainly done to un uh, like uh, understand the edge case thinking so I was uh, asked to specify and write most of the edge cases and how I had handled them mm. and uh, uh, they, they asked me uh, some uh, string stream specific questions in C++ uh, I, I struggled a bit in that, but they were uh, fine. They helped me a lot in, uh, you know, trying to get through mm. it because I got a little nervous. But after that, uh, they asked me uh, a low-level design question. Um, this was this was something very specific to this company because they uh, they emphasize a lot in object-oriented programming, solid principles, etc. 
and even design patterns to a large extent even in the job description okay so some, sometimes which is not very common at yeah. least in most yeah. of the interviews which is given mm. i was asked for a simple car factory model but i was asked to follow the abstract factory design pattern okay. uh, i had some form of experience in it so i was able to figure it out but uh, uh, it was uh, it was a little bit surprising that they asked that Okay. I was able to clear the round. I think around twenty to twenty-five people were able to clear the first round and, and go to the second. Hmm. The second was a very uh, not I wouldn't say informal, but a very normal discussion on the internships I'd done and the some some projects I'd done. Hmm. Um, uh, they asked me internship-related questions. Um, I'd worked in SQL, so some SQL theory, theoretical questions as well, hmm. and. Um, some questions uh, that revolved around what role i see myself in etc okay um was that i think there were around 15 people who were selected for the second third round hmm. the third round was pure hr uh, the hr round was very standard hr questions uh, i i don't know why but this company actually rejected people based on the third okay. third hr round so i would suggest preparing a little bit for that hmm. and taking it seriously Okay. Because I believe in campus, I don't think a lot of people get rejected in the HR round. Mm-hmm. Um, right. That is something that is uh, important. Uh, they release the results on the same day, so okay. we got the results, and I think eleven people were selected out of the initial sixty that were selected. So okay. Hmm. Okay. So and one more thing I wanted to ask is how important is like operating systems and such computer science subjects? They ask in the interviews, right? So, how important do you think they are? For Providence specifically, I believe operating system is extremely important. Okay. Um, as I mentioned, they did ask an operating system based in stream related question. Hmm. How it works behind the scenes mm-hmm. um, in the first round itself. Okay. Uh, DBMS was asked heavily in every single interview round I gave, except the HR round, obviously. Okay. And um, SQL uh, especially is asked. Like there are tough SQL queries which are asked. Uh, mm. in the first mm. round mm. so if, if someone is not regular with the practice in the sql uh, uh, in sql related questions uh, they might struggle because um, it uh, involved um, a, 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 like a bunch of tables and then you have to aggregate them and you know okay to okay mm. so sql and uh, and oops obviously oops mm. is extremely important oops especially you should be able to explain every single oops concept in the interviews because It was standard for every single interview that uh, I know of, mm. and uh, it was asked in both my technical rounds. Okay, okay, that's great. Uh, thank you for sharing your experience. Uh, do you have any suggestions for people who want to get into Providence? Uh, the first suggestion, as I mentioned before, is uh, just make sure you don't. Uh, you make sure you go through the job description, irrespective of which company. Um, mm. You're applying to go through a job description because it will give you a ballpark of the kind of topics you will be asked mm. in the interviews. So, for instance, in my case, it was oops. It was extremely heavy oops. So I was uh, able to revise it and answer it in the interview. Uh, second is maintain your GPA. I feel uh, the GPA for Providence was eight. Okay. Um, uh, the standard for VIT, I believe, is seven. Mm. Uh, even though it may vary, but yeah. maintain. Uh, as high GPA as you can because people who get same similar scores in the first round are uh, ranked by GPA and then uh, selected. So maintaining a good GPA is extremely important. I suffered a lot because of this uh, because um, before Providence I was not able to appear for a lot of interviews mm. because my GPA wasn't great. Okay. So GPA especially try in by in first second year make it as high as possible and. For problems specifically, just make sure you do a lot of DBMS questions before coming because DSC is manageable. Hmm. Okay. 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 Thank you so much for coming and sharing your experience. Thank you.